Good evening, I'm Giuseppe Basile, I'm the only century. You can find at the uh, website www.fibstalker.com. I also posted early on Twitter using the Fibstalker nickname. Good evening, today is Tuesday, February 18, 2014. It's 10 p.m. time in Toronto. And in this video, I'm going to review for you the, the, um, all the markets I follow, the 11 markets I follow. Uh, we start from the Euro dollar, which is the uh, forex pair you see on the screen. What you see on the screen is the daily chart. Uh, this level of support 135 is uh, something that I've traced recently from uh, from uh, uh, this uh, anchor the beginning of September. However, this is not um, uh, this is not a canonical trace, so uh, it is possible that we are going to see a failure here of the dollar and a continuation lower at least uh, a, a retest of the 134 uh, uh, 135 uh, level here at the moment we witnessed uh, the um, uh, the measured move at 135.80 and uh, uh, we saw uh, today a continuation higher price uh, going uh, through that uh, and through that 137.30 level and we have now a second target uh, at 138.09 <coughs> sorry <coughs> excuse me if you if we move to the 240 minutes chart here we can see that uh, there is a sequence of measure move and we were able to identify this level ex post actually we could I was not able to trade or ant anticipate this level before I identified it after the fact 136.90 in this case uh, with market moving into the first 137.40 and second target 137.65 on this time frame so now that we have identified this level of support we can actually trace the next um, the next level in the extension and we can anticipate a retest uh, uh, in the very short term of this 137.47 now if we uh, fail this level 137.42 uh, from these levels there is the uh, possibility to trade all the way for way back the next um, uh, measure move on the daily chart that will be uh, 136.60 uh, 70 level here uh, for a continuation higher and uh, so it would be if that happens it would be very important to test this level so below 137.42 we could actually get a move um, a, a reaction higher and then a continuation lower uh, if 137.50 holds we we see uh, we continue uh, we continue moving higher until we get into that second target um which is um which is um on this chart is uh, at this 138.09 moving to the sp500 uh, nothing uh, changed here and actually uh price moved laterally uh, on tuesday as well as on monday and um, we i want to remind you that on this time frame 240 minutes we hit the first target uh, uh, one, uh, 1832 level and we have a, a second target right at that highs 1846 moving to the dollar index yesterday I gave uh, I gave a level that would be uh, would indicate a continuation uh, short so uh, actually this level was respected was the 8025 with a stop above 8032 and I say that if we went uh, above 8032 we could see a retracement larger retracement but uh, price continued in this sequence and now we have targets below 79.87 and 79.70 if uh, we um, um, uh, react here higher and are able to break that 80.32 then uh, the possibility of uh, um, uh, um, a retrace in the dollar index uh, actually takes place gold uh, nothing changed here uh, we know that uh, we um, have been uh, trading this um, measure move here uh, with a support at 1244 bringing price into 1291 and 1315 here and now we know that we are uh, we, we need to uh, get a retracement into the next level of support the next level of support will be the 1303 if the 1296 uh, fails i want to remind you that uh, on the larger time frame we are within an area of uh, of uh, short here so if we fail 1296 there is the potential of a start of a move lower here so we need to keep this in mind we always we know always there are two there are two 
uh, participants to the market and if that happens then below 1296 uh, i see a continuation for uh, four more pop for uh, 40 more points uh, lower here into the 1256 level the us dollar versus japanese yen um i want to show the uh, daily chart the daily chart uh, on the daily chart we have this uh, 94 supporting identified back in uh, july june, june last year and this um, this level of support and entry long has targeted 108.33 but uh, we are also uh, tra trading and actually yesterday and uh, sorry on monday we had uh, this level the 101.50 uh, retested here and i've been looking at this level for weeks and it has a first target the 107.32 which would actually help price into that first target at 108 that that's that's the weekly target again we will need to study and verify what happens when price gets into this 103.10 which is a, a short or resistance level here the euro versus japanese uh, yen um, on the uh, daily uh, we know that uh, we actually um, got participation around this 136.65 and now we tested and stopped uh, on tuesday stopped right at the 140.96 which uh, we were actually anticipating. Uh, um, we know that there are shorts, there is, there is program trading trying to short this market here. So we will need to see whether this level holds. If we break above 142.81, we know that this 136.65 has target confirmed around 149.150, basically 149.90 level. So we will uh, if we break this area of uh, resistance here starting at 140.96 and if we break above 142.09 uh, uh, 142.10 then we can see a continuation higher um, and uh, before i move into the pound versus japanese yen i want to show you on the 420 minutes here the sequence of uh, of measured moves here so yesterday i've indicated uh, the uh, extension long and actually price uh, went into that first target price that found support in the 138.90 area here find support sorry find um, uh, uh, a first target in 140.95 and we saw some profit taking here at this level uh, so uh, if we come back now uh, we will need to uh, uh, we will need to see how the market behaves at the next level so if um, uh, and if uh, market comes down and break this 138.87 then the short on the daily will be confirmed so this 140.96 will be confirmed and that will probably mean a secondary test of this 136.65 uh, moving to the pound versus Japanese yen here um, uh, we know uh, again we, uh, we have uh, got participation around and starting from this 165.78 price went higher the uh, uh, the first target of this new measure move on the daily uh, was actually confirmed because we saw price moving above 170.63 however on the 240 minutes the current sequence failed so we are going to see a retracement and uh, this retracement has already started and um, the way I'm uh, going to model this uh, is very clearly the sequence is uh, can be seen here we had an extension with the support at 167.17 making price into the first target we saw profit taking at the first target eventually a continuation higher into the second target 169.96 and after that we uh, uh, just follow the rules and trace from highs to highs and we can see here that we hold we hold this um, uh, we held this 169.20 level and again price went to the first target and again uh, second target here and from that second target we are seeing we are seeing uh, now profit day now uh, the sequence is here here is broken clearly and this means that we could see a retrace all the way into um, into uh, a level of support that could uh, actually line up with this 20 day moving average which is our uh, next level we will need to see what what market does so if you are a short at uh, this market uh, see that there are 20 period moving average here we could just get from uh, retails participation on the upper side here and then a continuation lower eventually into 169.01 so 
uh, if you have a position that stops above highs this should be uh, mm, this should be a reasonable uh, reasonable safe of course everything can happen in the market but if you're short just keep the short into 169 level and then let's see what happens at this level we could actually get a bounce from this 20 day moving average here uh, moving to the pound versus japanese yen and the date is the of course the 18 of uh, february so i'm going to correct this for you uh, just to not create confusion we know that this market uh, has hit first and second target of very well defined um, um, uh, very well defined support level here 158.45 uh, which traded uh, long into 164.55 167.71 and um, and after that uh, we know that after the second uh, the second target it's very difficult we continue higher we got a we got a retracement here we're getting a retracement which is profit taking as well from profit trading on the daily chart and uh, we know that this is going to bring price into eventually into 165.40. So, if you got a short, that's the way, that's the, the level where we have to remove the short and take profits and test this level. And we can use the Fibonacci stalking to test this level. Moving to the Australian dollar versus the US dollar, you will remember yesterday and on the 20 40 minutes that I showed you the sequence of measure move on this uh, time frame first support. 8081 first target 8969 uh, same anchor uh, new high uh, gave uh, us the um, the uh, the next level in the sequence program trading is is actually trading which was this 08911 with which for price uh, into and above target 09038 and again program trading is using the same anchor and this same anchor is still active so we saw from anchor to high we saw already 945 level um, work uh, as support now price is, is coming back here and uh, um, we could try to see and model uh, what happened what is happening actually in uh, in uh, in the smaller time frame here and um, uh, actually we can uh, we can probably model this with a, a series of traditionals and and actually uh, this series actually failed so however we um, we um, trace this I think we are going to get back to into this OED 945 and this is going to be a second test so this that this test could actually fail so if you have a short in this market you should keep the short and uh, try to bring price into 089.45 and then see whether we get a reaction there and uh, um, you can move your stop above 190.28 uh, once and if we uh, bounce from that level because that level indicates a change in trend so a continuation higher in this case uh, moving to the US dollar versus Canadian dollar not a lot to add here we know that uh, we're going to test this level 109.15 and the market is slowly approaching this level and uh, we'll need to see whether we will get a, um, a bounce here and a continuation higher or uh, actually this level will be pierced in which case uh, I think uh, there is a possibility for the uh, US dollar versus the Canadian dollar to see much lower prices here and uh, and uh, uh, one of the um, one of the projection is definitely from uh, from lows in July last uh, sorry from lows in July 2011 to highs in um, in 2014. So as we can see here, we have two and a half years of uh, worth of trading data, and there is the possibility here if we break 108.42 to move right into that. 10314 uh, and finally new zealand uh, um, uh, market here uh, what i uh, expected and anticipated yesterday happened and actually we have the violation of that level i said that i would probably anticipate a violation of 083 or a six or, or seven level here and we know that now that we are going to we have two levels to watch one is the uh, extension uh, long at 182.63 which uh, lines up with this 20 day moving average which is flat flattening up because uh, of this lateral move as well as the old 12 way back at 
20. I hope this video is useful. I wish you a very good trading day tomorrow. Be careful, uh, full market and full volume and uh, good luck. Bye bye now.